Let's get a craft in. All right, guys. We are here to finish up our wine bottle that we did yesterday. It's been heat set and has um, cooled. And then um, we're gonna add some jute around the bottle. And then I don't remember if you guys remember that there was some issues with some bleeds that we had in it, but that's been taken care of. Um, once it dried, I just took that tool, click, click, it came right off, no problems. Um, I'm seeing if this will actually connect today. So I can see comments, that'd be really nice. But uh, I'm not seeing no comments. But hopefully I'll be able to see it over here. Um, it might take me a minute to answer any questions. But yeah, it's all cleaned up, it's set on there. Now this can be washed, it can be dried. Um, you know, it's set, it's not going to go anywhere now. So, I actually really like it, how it came out. So what we're gonna do is I turn my two, our glue gun on. We got two projects. We're gonna finish this and put some fairy lights in it. And then we're going to refurbish a um, mason jar. I had it for Hall or Halloween, <laughs> Valentine's Day on one side. And then the other side was, um, he has risen. Um, so what I did is sand that off and touched it up with a little bit of paint, sanded some more, the fun stuff. Um, and then, um, we're going to put on there, we're going to do a little nest, let's see if we can see that, at the bottom, and we're going to use one of our chocolator, um, birds that we also have cutouts for, they come two in a pack, but instead of using the bird cutout, I'm going to go ahead and put the bird in its nest in my mason jar. So I thought that'd be a cute little project. So, but I want to finish up with the bottle so we have one project done um still no let me see if I go to my page can I pull it up I just can't understand why I'm not finding myself me I found myself I think let's turn on comments I actually went to my page I guess that would have been the smartest thing for some reason it's not telling my uh, main page that I'm on but okay so we're gonna do this today then all right what I'm gonna do is this is not going outside so it's not gonna be in the Sun so I'm go normally would use like um Gorilla glue around it or something like that if I was going to um, stick it outside for, you know. This is just going to go into one of my windows um, with the lights so when it gets dark enough, um, I can turn it on and it'll, you know, look a little, little, I don't even know, glittery. <laughs> so I'm going to put just, a, hopefully, a little glab of glue here. So, to hold it. And then we're just going to twine it around. And like I said, showed you guys yesterday, I have this little cork um, I got from Amazon. And it lights right up. And we're going to stick that in there. Now, if another thing, if you are going to use this outside, obviously you use your Gorilla Glue. But another thing is, is water can get in there and it can damage the lighting. So what I usually do is use a sealer. Um, and seal it in there so no water can get in there. So if you have to change the battery, because this one's not solar. I do have solar ones too, but this one's a little battery. Um, you need to get to it, you can peel it off, pop it out, put a new battery in and go for it, you know. But you definitely want to seal it. So we got the glue, hot glue on it. We're just, I'm just going to spin it around. Um, messy. I like the messy look on it. So... Maybe if I spin the bottle, it'll be easier. So today is 
a nicer day than yesterday. Um, yesterday was cold. Today's in the 50s, so that's not too bad. Um, at least it's not snowing. Some places got some, like, seven inches of snow and stuff. Not us. I'd have to talk to somebody if they happen. That'd be just too much. Too much craziness for me. Ouch, just burnt myself. That's, you don't want to do. <laughs> but I do it every single time, so it's... Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more glue here to the lip. And then I'm going to go down a couple times because there's gaps in it to show the blue, but I want it more messy than anything. So, I'm going to add, because this ring's coming off. Just give it a little splash there. Roll it down a little. All right. And then we're just going to messy the top up a little bit. Check and see. Looks good to me. So now I'm going to take it back to where I started the glue um, dot to begin with. Just right there. And I'm going to put a little glue. Make sure it's nice and tight. But I'm going to put a little glue and then hopefully tuck it underneath. And then I'll cut it loose. course got glue string everywhere that's almost like my enemy like glitter no matter what you do with glitter it's everywhere okay so I twine back it's everywhere now all right so I think I got most of the glue. So this is what we got. It's taped off or uh, glued off on the top so that, you know, if I want to change it up or something like that, um, I can change this up. I did get some um, Happy Mail yesterday from my friend Tammy. She um, went shopping and found all of this beach themed um, type um, decor. And I thought about using it on this, but I think I have another idea for it. So we're holding off. So now what we're going to do, like I said, this is going into my um, living room window. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start filling it with our little fairy lights. And I try to twirl it a little bit just so it can hit all around. Um, but it does have a mind of its own. And like I said, you could do this as long as you're using the ink that we have, um, which is in my website. Um, you can use that for this, and then you heat set it so it does not come off. So if it rains, if you want it outside and such, it will stay. Um, but you want to definitely seal the, um, what's it called? You know, I need a little stick. Um, you need to seal... Um, the top of it because you don't want the water to get in there and ruin the lights and I learned that the hard way I figured oh it's sealed good you know no. so we're going to go ahead we're getting to the bottom of it kind of push it down some a little bit. 
So the cork's in. Turn the little nozzle that way so you don't see the thing. Let's make some room. So, bottle, cute little saying. It says, good things take time. And we all know that's true. And um, I got some glue strings all over it. And then, look at that. Isn't that cool? Let me turn off this. I have a ring light, and I don't even know if it does anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, it makes things darker. Um, but now you have a little little bottle with a nice little saying that you can put in your window. Um, or you can put it in your wine bar, actually, um, which I could do that, too. Um, just put it in the wine bar and turn it on when you have some company or you're sitting there by yourself. Just a nice little glow. So that is our one project be finished up right over here actually I'll leave it on we'll turn the ring light back on and we'll go ahead and do a our uh, refurbished little thing like I said Valentine's was on one side he has risen was on this side I sanded it down added some of our because we can paint with our paste so what I did was take um, cadet um, put it on a little sheet there added a little bit of water painted and then sand it again um just to give it a distressed look so that's all i had to do with that i already had the um jute on there so i didn't change that up i did take i think this is called raffia don't it might be wrong pronounced i have brown and it's bleached um blonde um so what i did was just do a little loop-de-loop -loop thing and tied it so that will be hot glued to the bottom and then the bird will go on the top so, now this is our burr transfer. It is used, or it comes, or it should, it doesn't come with. But um, what it is, is there's cutouts, which I can, sh I don't have my cutouts that I did because I have it in a wreath on my door um, that I did. But they come out, there's two in a kit. Um, there is a smaller than a bigger bird. That is their own little thing. Um, if you're interested in that, you just go to my site, Punch in Birds, you'll find them. But this is the transfer that goes with them. And our transfers are used for anything we really want, you know. You can find this at a garage sale or you can have a piece of wood laying around. They work for everything. So, what we're going to do is put the raffia on the bottom here for the nest and put the bird on there with a wing. And I don't know. Let's do, you know what? Let's do this one because it's for spring. And I didn't use it last time. I used the um, flower one. So let's change it up. So what I'm going to do is position it. And you know what? We're going to have to lint this one too. Because I haven't used it so it's really super sticky. And I don't want it pulling any paste up whatsoever. And all I'm doing is putting a little lint. You can use your shirt, your smock, whatever you have, um, just so it's not so sticky. And then when this is all done, see, I got some lint in the thing. You always want to make sure that you check to make sure you don't got lint in the mesh of it. Otherwise, you're going to have that spot missing. But um, I've been working on this um, little piece of wood with my mom's picture on it. Oh, it's outside. I just um, I just took it outside to um, seal it. But um, I still get these little wood pieces from doing that. But um, I don't remember what I was saying. So we're going to go with my second thought. Is we're just going to place this on the linting is so it's not going to pull up my paint. Um, but you can use this on glass now as you've seen the bottle. Um, you can use it on if you want to do a cup. I mean... There's so much product um, that you can use on this. I've used it on metal. Um, goodness, goodness. There's just so much. I mean, it's not just a chalkboard type surface you need. But you do need to wax if it is a rough surface. Um, this one was pre-waxed because, like I said, I had the other one 
on there anyway. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and place the bird on there. And then I'm going to push out to make sure there's no air bubbles because that's how you get your bleeds. All right. And I didn't pick out a color because that's just the way I roll. Um, let's do something springy. Do we want a, maybe a yellow flat or yellow? Let's do this one. This one's called Sunside, Sunny Side, excuse me. Um, I've used it like once. It's a, not as bright of a, um, yellow as Bumblebee. It's more, I think, kind of reminds me of a yolk. All right, one of the squeegees in here. All right, just put a little on here, and we're going to work in one direction, and I usually do down, unless it's a big surface, then I sometimes do across, um, especially if I'm using more than one color. And you don't have to press hard. It's like buttering toast. Um, and you want to take any excess that you have off and scrape back in because you don't want to waste. Close that baby up and let's see what we have. I like that. I do like that. I'm not a big yellowy person, but I like it. So this is the way it came out. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it and then there's a wing that we can put on there. Still says I'm live, so I'm hoping that's it's working. So we're just trying it. I can see the wording it says welcome, happy, shine, spring, sweet, tweet, bloom, sunshine, lovely, flowers, fresh. And the only words I really can make out on it. So I think we're going to do the wing, but I don't want to do a wing yellow. I want it to be a tad different, um, color-wise. And I don't want to do a blue. So what do we think about... Mm. How about we mix a color? I think we'll try mixing a color for a change. Get one of my trays out. I think we'll mix that yellow. And I think we'll use, I believe it's Shimmer Olive. Shimmer Olive. And we'll see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, we can always sand off and, you know, pick up other colors. So that's dry and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little wax to where I'm putting the wing just so it does not pull up my yellow. You don't need much. Just a little so it doesn't pull. Alright, and I think I'm going to use this wing today. It is basically the whole thing, but a couple speckles. So let's see. I don't want to cover up all the words. So 
So let's maybe do it at an angle. Because it almost seems like it should be. I think I might just do it as it's getting ready to fly. Just so we don't take too much of the words away. So what I'm going to do is grab some stir sticks, grab our shimmer olive, and what I'm going to do is in the tray, now I haven't tried this before, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the olive on one side, and set that to the side just in case I need more for some reason, and then I'm going to take the, I said this once already, sunny side. And I'm going to put that right next to it, like so. And then I'm going to take a squeegee. And I'm going to try... I'm going to turn this this way, because I think I want the green at the bottom. So it looks sort of like this. It's got both colors on it. And then I'm going to just go ahead and try to go right down the middle with it. And see how it covers. Any excess I'm going to scrape off. And then I'm going to pull it up and see what we have. Okay, I like it. Woo! Get nervous. All right, so then we got a two tone wing. Okay, and I could um, put something up on the top there, but. You know what? We could put home up there. Let's do that. I have this transfer feels like home with a little rooster. I think we're going to use the home part of it um, for the top. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull and close up my paste. I'm going to dry this. And then we're going to go ahead and use the shimmer. Um, and do the home in it with the shimmer olive. it a little bit and then I'm just going to put the home up on top because I'm not using the whole transfer and I'm going to make sure there's no air bubbles and then I'm going to use the shimmer that's on the one side there for it no reason to waste it I may have just got a little bit of the other word but we can sand that part off And let's pull this one off. There we go. Now we brought it back. Look at that. I'm loving it. So now this can also sit. You can um, hang it. I did have mine hung up where the one sign there, where my butterfly committed suicide, um, that was glued right side up. But uh, can you even see that? No. Let's move you over a little this way. So, can you still see it? No. <laughs> Is my big head in the way? Maybe. All right, so yeah, this butterfly was up here, but it came off. So we'll fix that later. But that's where I had this hanging, was up there um, in my other videos. So now this is done. Let's get this thing out of the way. Let's sit it over there. And so now we have our little spring bird so and oh my bottle i was like and i knew i did something else 
in the bottle. So we finished our bottle today. And we did a little refab on a mason jar, which the link is in my my description here. Um, you can change it up if you like. If you don't want, um, if you want the bird cutouts, you can, you know, add them. Um, do whatever you want with that. Subtract to add. Um, but that's what we have for you today. So we finished our little bottle and we did a refab on one of my mason jars. And now, like I said, with the mason jar here, I mean, you buy it once. Next um, holiday um, is what? Memorial Day. You can sand this right off and, you know, put a flag or something on there. Um, there's so many choices and there's a lot of transfers on the site. So please take time and look. And, uh, you know, even if uh, there's one you're not sure of, ask me. I might have it on my cluster of transfers and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do one. Show you how it's, you know, going to look before you purchase. But that is it. That's all I have. I hope you guys have a great one. Um, and I hopefully will see you tomorrow. Bye.